Now that we're about halfway through the ninth season of American Horror Story, I thought it would be a good time to reflect on all of the Easter eggs and horror references that 1984 has served us. This video contains spoilers for American Horror Story 1984, Apocalypse, and Scream Queens. So now that you've been warned, let's start with episode one. Firstly, the most obvious two reference points of the entire season are 1978's Halloween and 1980's Friday the 13th. Specifically, the scenes depicting Mr. Jingle's escape from the asylum, which is striking similar to how Michael Myers' asylum escape in Halloween played out. You mean you actually never want him to get out? Never. 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 Since when did they let them wander around? Pull up to the main gate. Shouldn't we put... Go on, move. And as for Friday the 13th, well, the entirety of Camp Redwood was obviously based off of Camp Crystal Lake from the iconic slasher franchise, which also depicts a serial killer taking out counselors at a summer camp. Moving on from the golden age of slashers to the mid-90s rejuvenation of the genre, 1984's premiere episode also references 1997's I Know What You Did Last Summer. When Xavier hits Jonas with his car and proceeds to make sure everyone will lie to cover him, it is reminiscent of a very similar scene in I Know What You Did Last Summer. Be a non-stop party, okay? Look out! I think he's dead. We can't just leave him here! Oh, tell me, little Miss Prelaw, what's the charge for manslaughter? Another possible nod to I Know What You Did Last Summer is Mr. Jingle's costume, which bears resemblance to the fisherman killer from the film. Season 9, Episode 1 also marks the return of Richard Ramirez to American Horror Story, who was briefly featured in Season 5, Hotel, although played by a different actor. Tell me, I have. Devil's Night. I have a standing reservation. Of course, Mr. Ramirez. With Scream Queens alumni Emma Roberts and Billy Lord starring in the season, it is worth noting that the original concept of Scream Queens' second season was a summer camp. Another self referential moment occurred when Xavier tells the aerobics gang how he met Montana. Turns out, she rear-ended him with her car. This is a nod to the finale of Season 8 titled Apocalypse, where, spoiler alert, Billy Lord's character Mallory runs over Cody Fern's Michael Langdon with her car. In Episode 2, Margaret references the 1984 film Ghostbusters when Jonas asks her if he is a ghost, to which she replies with, Who am I, Dan Aykroyd, referencing one of the stars of the film. This episode also reveals Jonas's full name, which is Jonas Shivor. And if you rearrange the letters of his name, you get Jason Voorhees, the iconic killer from the Friday the 13th franchise. The title of Xavier's porn film is The X-Man Cometh, which may be referencing American Horror Story Coven's sixth episode, which was titled The Axe-Man Cometh. Brooke's bloody wedding in episode 2 is similar to Chanel Oberlin's Scream Queen's wedding, which also ends with a sobbing Emma Roberts in a blood-stained wedding gown and a dead groom. Episode 3 is titled Slash Dance, which is a play on the title of the 1983 film Flash Dance. Or perhaps this is a reference to the 1989 comedic thriller Slash Dance, which also gets its name from Flash Dance. Episode 4 features the song Leather and Lace by Stevie Nicks, and Stevie Nicks has appeared in both Coven and Apocalypse. Episode 5 is titled Red Dawn, which does fit an episode involving the sunrise at Camp Redwood, but it is also a reference to the 1984 film of the same name, starring Patrick Swayze, whose brother Don Swayze appears in 1984 as Roy. Episode 5 also brings in a second reference to Ghostbusters, where Montana jokingly says, There is no Montana, only Zool. This line is a reference to the demigod named Zool from Ghostbusters, which features the line, There is no Dana, there is only Zool. 
All right, so those are all of the references and Easter eggs that I was able to find in the first five episodes of 1984. Be sure to let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. Let me know if I missed anything, leave this video a like, and make sure you're subscribed for weekly American Horror Story 1984 episode breakdowns and theories.